pick one word to describe the person to your right. Handsome. <laughs> um, I would say um, friend. Oh, I'll describe Dakota then. Yeah, yeah. I would say she's secretly motherly. She would play little games and I see you and you know all those kinds of things, and it reminded me so overwhelmingly of when Nicole was alive that she would do these same sort of little playful things, and um, I was so glad to see that and grateful for it. Okay, Jason is spectacular wow. yeah. and magical and sweet and intelligent. Thanks. We've known each other a long time. <laughs> Honestly, I would say custodian. She was the custodian of this idea from taking it on all the way to getting it to release and just hid this vision under her coat all the way to um, getting the movie made, and that's that's an amazing thing. I thought that the story sort of found its way into discussing grief by backing into it and, and talking about the anchor that sort of keeps you together in your darkest days. I thought that was a beautiful way to acknowledge something we all go through, and that is grief. I told the story originally in the hopes that it would help people. Um, because I felt so alone going through the process and then my friend moved in. I wanted to sort of use what little voice I had to reach out into that lonesomeness um, that people go through and, and say, hey, um, I understand what's going on. For people going through this experience, it can be ostracizing. You can feel like you don't want to trample on, on the situation and make it worse by inserting yourself to try and help. Um, but if you have those people in your life, and if you are a person that wants to help somebody else, having no fear around that is the best way to go about it, I think. My favorite day on, on set was we danced in the fountain one night, and I found it to be real, a really loving night. It was just me. <laughs> it was, it was an otherwise rough day. Not a filming day. It was just a random. No, it was the entire. It was the entire weekend. cast. It was all of us, and I think you were there too, right? And a yeah. bunch of people from the town. Too. Yeah. The real people who were there. And, and Matt's Nicole. real daughters. Yeah. Matt's real daughters, Matt. Yeah. It felt cathartic. Yeah. You know, like Which it. was the original feeling when it really happened. We were reenacting something that had happened in real life where Nicole was getting sicker and she wanted just to do some last lifeful sort of thing. And so we just started calling people and half the town came down and we did this illegal act of jumping in the town fountain and splashing around. And it was, uh, it felt very much of the same spirit when we reenacted it. 